Hello and welcome. This video is going to cover the power-up procedure for GS series pin setters equipped with a safety controller. To begin, let's cover the basic system components and their function. We have the safety controller, typically located on the left-hand side of the elevator of the left-hand machine. The safety controller receives incoming three-phase power and distributes it to the next gen. There are two safety interlocks that the safety controller is monitoring a masking unit photo sensor interlock and rear door interlocks. The masking unit photo sensor located at the masking unit just above the height of a bowling ball will shut down the pair of pin setters if the photo sensor beam is interrupted. Located at the rear of the pin setters is a non-contact magnetic safety switch. Depending on your version you may have a single interlock at the ball accelerator entrance door or multiple interlocks with one on the rear division door. If any interlock door is open, the pair of lanes will shut down. And we have the next gen, located on the front of the left hand pin setter. The next gen receives input from the machine switches and directs the movements of the solenoids and motors. Let's go over the power procedure when the safety controller's main power switch is in the off position. Before turning the main power switch on, we need to make sure the masking unit photo sensor is clear of any obstruction, the rear door interlocks are closed and latched, and lastly, confirm that the emergency stop button is not pressed in. It is now safe to rotate the main power switch to the on position. Upon power up, the safety controller will run a diagnostics internally to verify conditions. The restart photo sensor LED will illuminate. Press the button to activate the photo sensor located on the masking unit. The restart photo sensor light will turn off and the restart LED will illuminate. Pressing the restart button will cause the red power on LED to illuminate and the high voltage contactor to energize, supplying power to the GSX next gen. 